Hello and welcome here guys to race number 13 on the schedule for Bearfield and after this race we got Zinjoltis and then it is the finale down in Washington DC. Eric Burton coming in this race, 9 points down to Nick Mace and Charles Sanford coming in this right coming in this race. Um let's see here. Going through the points. A total of 13 points down. Them guys are basically the only challenge the 48 has for this rest of the season. Basically, that's what it is. And then Andres Allen and Eugenia Max lurking back there. Around 40 points back is around where they're at right now. They need to gain a lot of points in the next two races to be within one race back to try and win this thing. But, uh, in my opinion, Nick Mace... Eric Burton and Charles Sanford are the guys to beat for this championship. Nick Mace, one win, seven top fives, and ten top tens this season. Eric Burton, three wins, seven top fives, and nine top tens. And Charles Sanford, two wins, five or six top fives, and nine top tens. Them guys have some big numbers coming to this race. A lot of consistency from both them three, all three of them drivers. And here today at Bearfield is where it's going to count. The 16 and the 17 needing to gain a little bit more points on the 48 here. Let's get you down to the starting lineup. As the pace car rolls off, Eric Burton will line up on the pole, needing to win this race or finish more spots ahead of the 48 here. Green flag is out here, and the Spyro the Dragon 200. Eric Burton led lap number one. Sanford, who came in this race third in the standings, they're both 1-2 right now as it runs. And someone got off track there, and it's Jacob Hart. And the 21 car of Zach Flickinger. Yeah, Flickinger in the 21 car has not had any top 10s whatsoever this season. His best finish coming out as a 12th place finish. But boy, we're going to take a replay and show you what happened with them guys. Well, Hart right here slides up. Flickinger, Solar Fox. Oh, Flickinger. Oh, Dom Caps right there. He, he spun around as well. And there's Dom Caps. He's getting away from it. Where's the 21 at? There he is right there. He must have got turned around further up down the racetrack here. Yes, I think. He, oh, no. he Remember him right here? Yeah, he bounced off Hart there and spun through the infield, way down the inside. I've never seen someone slide way down the inside like that ever before. But looking, you're almost back up into traffic there. Not getting any luck after getting an 18th place qualifying spot there for Flickinger. Let's get you back to live. We're back live. Eric Burton in the 16. Many, many drivers coming into Bearfield for many seasons have ended up winning out at Fairfield um, from the pole. And Eric Burton could be on site to break the record books that no one's been able to do. To get four wins in the SCS, Eric Burton, his rookie season, could just do that here today. I've never seen anyone do it before, but Burton could do it. With Charles Sanford running behind there, Sanford needs to close on Burton. Remember, he's got a... Sanford's got to at least finish a few spots ahead of Burton if he wants to be right on top of Burton leaving this race. Eugene Amax coming into this race. He's about 40 points back. He needs to gain 15 points at least 
to still be at least one race back to Nick Mace. Brandon Bain right here, he's been told it if he doesn't comment or whatever. He may be losing his ride. Now Richard Johnson in the 20. The last two races, Johnson's been really good. Many drivers have really expected more from Johnson. I have myself at, at, at least two. But Johnson in the 20 has kind of fell off from the last time we've seen him uh, doing, doing good. We used to see him always winning races. And we haven't seen him do that much lately. And we're being told Mace may, about bit Mace may be off the racetrack. Yes, Ashley is. Oh no, Ashley, Ashley, Ashley. Oh boy. Keeps it off the wall. But she's got damage there. But she's going to keep it good. So Eric Burton is driving away from the pack here. And where's Nick Mace at? Nick Mace is right there in sixth position, exactly where he started. Sliding right in between the Gibbs cars. And Nick Mace in the 48 really does not need. Sixth place is really good. He's looking to try and get his 11th consecutive top 10 in a row, which will be really good, but top 10 is not what's going to get you a championship, I don't think. But Mace with the most top 10 so far this season with 10 right now on suit for another top 10 maybe a top 5 here he's right there on Richard Johnson but what boy Eugene Max has gotten low of Charles Sanford and Demax getting by the four car of Rob House and Bain also underneath Sanford there Sanford needs to take this opportunity from Nick Mace to try and gain points on Mace there as well Eric Burton really has Nobody in his way, really, but Burton is really fast. Keeping up a 16.53, a 16.57 by Demax last lap as he runs here. 16.54, a 16.54 as well. So the same exact lap time from last lap by both the 16 and the 24. Demax is trying to win his seventh win in the SCS, in his SCS career. We haven't seen Demax do much of him some good uh, he used to really do really good and back in his early years early years in the SCS so Jacob Hart Zach Lukinger Brad Johnson Amber uh, Amber Coke um Ashley Mays looks like they may hold on these guys here very shortly and Jacob Hart in the 19 has been announced here for since we're focusing on him he's also been announced to drive for Everham next season he's been with Everhelm since season seven but part in the 19th has been really consistent as he has six top tens this season but no top five so he's been really consistent with Everhelm and he's only got two wins in the FCS coming out with Everhelm Eric Burton has ran up on Ashley Mace. Mace gives way to the faster car of Eric Burton. Whoa, Brad Johnson. Oh, he gets sorry up in his act. Flickinger, and there goes them guys. And Flickinger, Brad Johnson, and Jacob Hart off course. Well, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, well. <laughs> Flickinger off the racetrack there. Bunch of guys off the racetrack, and here is um, and Brad Johnson and Jacob Hart stuck right there on the outside of the track. I've never seen that happen before, of them just getting stuck right there. But Eric Burton has really no challenge at all. He's been running his own, and Eric Burton may beat the record of most wins of a season. Luke Martin, Richard Johnson. Nick Mace, Zachary Brown, all of them guys was super, super close to winning four wins in their season and was not able to do it. But Burton on three wins right now, the most so far of anybody. Everyone else on the board here has um, only one win. Andres Allen 
and Charles Sanford's the only guys that have two. Then there's Eric Burton. He has three. And he's looking to be to try and get number win number four of the season. And boy, would that be something. Eric Burton. Where is Nick Mace? There he is right there. Mace has gotten himself inside the top five now. Johnson has got held up by somebody. Andres Allen follows suit. Nick, um, Luke Martin got by his teammate there, Richard Johnson. Luke Martin going to the Ralph Schwimway stable next season. Brandon Baines fourth. Charles Sanford back to third. And Nick Jacob Hart is going to hold up the 16 car. But I don't know if this is going to play any good for Eugene Max. As Eric Burton's got a huge lead. As you can see, it's right there. He's just put a humongous gap on these guys. And Burton, what it would be for his rookie season. We've had rookies the past two seasons. Season 7, we had Jordan Davis win the title in his rookie season. We see, had Season 8 with Sean Perkins win the championship in his rookie season. Season 9, Eric Burton, rookie, trying to win the championship in his rookie season. And he may do that as well as... Kind of impressive that he's doing this with Roush because Burton. Oh no, a heart spun on the front straightaway there. He's running 19. Got some troubles there for him as the FPS is really dropping here. But Eric Burton through turns three and four, he's gonna break the record of most wins of a season. He wins four races this season so far. Eric Burton wins that in the Spyro the Dragon 200. Here at Fairfield, and boy, would this be really good for his hopes of this championship. Oh my goodness, Eric Burton has really been under the heat of Nick Mace to try and run him down in the fight for this title. Mace, fifth right now, he got fifth place, and the 16 of Eric Burton, he got the win, and he's gonna gain four points. Which will probably mean he'll only be five points down to Nick Mace going into season Joltis. My oh my. Let's get you to your finishing results. 